Hey everyone, it's Calvin also known as Warmer, and this is Ultra Despair Girls. Danganronpa, another episode, and I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into, and honestly, I'm kind of terrified. I've played the first two Danganronpa games, and apparently this game in the canon comes in between the second and the third game. Um, let's just do this. I have no idea what we're gonna be doing. What's this? Working hard for a normal girl mode, despair mode, ultra despair mode. Wait, what? Super ultra pumped genocide jack mode for those who just want to enjoy this. Oh, okay, working hard for a normal girl mode and the spare mode. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't know. We, I, I, maybe we should play on hard. I don't know. Uh, maybe we could change it halfway through the game. We'll see if it normal is too uh, easy. But I don't know. We'll see. Gameplay recording resume. Thank you. First, I set up your camera. Sure. With auto camera, you automatically follow the character you're controlling. And with manual ca camera, you can control the camera with the right stick. This can be changed in options later on, so you can choose the one you like for now. Um. Yeah, we'll change. All we'll do auto for now, I suppose, and we'll see what if we like it or hate it. What is happening? What is happening? I know. I know. I'm so scared. <laughs> According to what I've heard. Okay. The world is round. Yes. But is that really true? Maybe. Earth might have the shape of rock candy. What? Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. No. But I don't really the music. know for sure. It has it's hints of like, like the I've other games. I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. In the same way. I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Wait. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. Is that one of the we execution our rockets? Lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the earth or common knowledge. When they're panning across, it's always In like fact, it's pretty small. What are they about to reveal here? So small that it's actually a little funny. Okay. This is my world. Wait. This two bedroom apartment Girl that I protagonist. Live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. Cozy life. But it's not like I'm a shut in or anything. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. Oh. My name is Komaru Nayegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl. Wait. Lives an abnormal daily life. Wait, Nayegi? Makoto's sister? Is that what we're looking at here? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Oh, that music. Is this actually, is this Makoto's sister? Ever since my imprisoned life began, this pointless defiance became my morning routine. But it was only at the beginning that I was seriously crying and yelling. You know what's funny? So different already from Makoto's personality, though. Like... It's been a year and a half since my imprisoned life <laughs> What? Can you believe it? A year and a half? There's our girl on the so table as well, by the way. I'm completely used to this life. It's frightening how well humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. That's true, though. That is true. You will adapt to the it horrible situations like as well as the good ones. I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair. It always follows hope. More conversations about hope and despair as well. Jeez, it's finally breakfast! It's about time so I'm they starving this is, here! I, this is so crazy. But anyway, about this whole imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ooh! Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner 
is the only communication I have with the outside. Man, how excited would you be for I dinner at that point? The culprit's face, or even heard their voice. I would be very excited for dinner I if that was the case. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. But regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? Yeah. My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited for some reason. Huh? What? What happened? Could it be? Did someone come to rescue me? I think she even has Makoto's Please eyes. Save me! I'm trapped in here! I'm begging you! Please save Oh, that would be so horrible. Like, it's so easy to forget. Anymore. No. No. No, is that that's not bear claws. Is that bear claws? Is that bear claws? It's bear claws. I would stay in here. A little bit, little, finish your eggs and bacon. You're gonna need them. I see she was kind of lying to herself as well, and now she's faced with like, Oh no, it's Morakua! <laughs> oh no. No! Wait, what? Jesus. What's going on? Jesus, this is actually very, very horrific. Like, seeing this in 3D, like, is always a No, do not touch her! What is... What? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're moving around. We're moving around. I actually might change the... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um. Um. Options. Camera. Where's the camera mode? Manual. Let's go. Yeah, much better. Oh my god, it's much better already. Do we have to run out of the, the house? That's probably what we have to Come over here for a second. That's the TV, you fool. Oh my god, this is insane. We gotta run the front door. We gotta run the front door. <laughs> what the? Let's go. See you later. I'm leaving. Where's the elevator? No. Oh, it's on fire. Everything's on fire. Is he coming? Why is there a fire? I can't get through. Um. Um. This is sick. I never thought we'd be doing this in a Dolgan Ropa game. He's gonna come out of that room at any point now. I just know he is. There he is. No, no, no. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. What should I do? Let's go. Is he coming out? Oh, he's, oh, he's proper. He's barreling. This way. Okay, the elevator's over here. This is horrifying. Fully voice acted, by the way. Cool. So far, anyway. Girl. Girl, no. Elevator ain't gonna help you. This guy got claws. Gotta do a rope dope on this guy. Oh, who's in here? No! <laughs> of all people, <laughs> of all people that show up here. <laughs> oh, okay, he's saving us. It's okay. I always knew he was good. Buckaroo. No, with the voice. Nayagi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Oh. I know exactly who you are, buddy. That is insane. What is he doing here? Uh, um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Well, I wouldn't be surprised, but you know, he seemed we, from Duncan Robert 2, we know that he did help us escape. 
in Danganronpa 2 as well. So he did kind of like redeem himself in a lot of ways. This is insane that he's just here though. This must be canon too. Because he was a part of this foundation as well. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. For sure. <laughs> Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Okay. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... Would Makoto not come and save us? This is so weird seeing these models move around in 3D. 3D be- you know what? This? what 3D Buckaroo? Kinda handsome. Here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. Suit is really sick as well, actually. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? Yeah, it's actually kind of like a... From from Buruku's uh, perspective, it is like a really nice thing uh, to not feel like... Like, from his perspective, like, hey, you don't know Monokuma? That's, you're pretty lucky, and I agree. You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. Oh. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Okay. <gasps> no way, is he just murdering his future foundation? Oh god, there's more of them. So obviously these aren't like the... Bring it on, he says, as he's getting slashed to death. What should I do? I'd run. I'd should. go. Do you really have an option other than run? <laughs> it's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Okay, so we have to shoot them ourselves? This is, oh, it's gonna be a gun game. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Music is great too. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears... See, he doesn't I even care about his... Oh, look at these... Being. Literally ripping on this guy's arm. Run, but where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> this is actually sick. Like, this is actually so cool. Hurry up and go. You're just in the way here. You're just in the way here. Oh, we don't get to do a shooting game here? Like, Bakaji, this is like the coolest you've ever looked. So this must be Makoto's sister, right? It has to be. Or like at least a relation to Makoto in some way. Like, I think we know he, he, did, he did say before he had a sister. Animated cutscenes are very good too. Pig boy! Oh, there's the purple blood. What do you do in this situation? What is going on? <laughs> okay, to the top of the car. Who's gonna be in the restaurant then? Is it gonna be, um. Is it gonna be Makoto? Wait. Everyone's just. Welcome! A table for one? Huh? Bear attack! A bear? Bears! Bears everywhere! Yes, now please! Please keep your voice down. Wait. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of... Relax and stay calm. Hold. <sighs> Hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is... <laughs> <laughs> no. No. 
For a second, I thought that was like Toko, like in, in disguise. And I, clearly not. Wait, I thought there was gonna be a future foundation person on standby. Oh, that would be terrifying. No, do not look down here. The visuals in this game are just fantastic, though. Emergency! Riots are breaking out all over Toa City! God, take refuge immediately! I repeat, citizens of Toa City, take refuge! I say that, but... Where do you go? Look at this visual style as well. I mean, like, I'm not... What is he doing? Get off that person! I'm not... I'm like I like I'm not um being a hero here, you know what I mean? I'm not. Uh, wait, we have a gun. Cool socks. So we're gonna learn how to shoot now. Okay, it's time for tutorial. If you press the L2 button, uh, you ready your hacking gun. Okay, fine. Yeah, just like any good shooter. The right stick focuses the reticle. If you press the R2 button with the gun out, you fire the truth bullet. Press the square button, opens the truth bullet selection screen. You can switch the truth bullets with the directional buttons. You can also switch truth bullets outside the menu with the directional buttons. Try using all the multicultural truth bullets against the Monokumas. Okay. So it makes them do like different things. So right now we have break. Which seems pretty Oh my god, this is just gonna be a shooter. That's so cool. That's so we can use like different one. Detect. Move, dance. Break seems one we're gonna have to use now. Oh my god, the, I love the visual style. It's actually something I wanted to do like for, for a while too. And like they do it in um Tokyo Mirage sessions as well. Switch truth bullet screen. Oh yeah, we can do that at any point. This is cool. Like, I think the aiming is actually really good. This is like a freaking. This is like Resident Evil style. Girl, we don't need saving. We're we're good now. What is this? What is going on? No. No. <laughs> no. Good laugh. TV. <laughs> oh my god, again, I thought it was Toko again! What the hell is this? Oh my god, I love this game so far! Hey, Masaru, do zombies really say raw like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? Mm, who cares? I told you, style is important for this kind of thing. <laughs> the presentation of this game so far is one of the most incredible things I've seen in, this, in, in, in video games. I'm so impressed. Tell you this broadcast was important. This is the Warriors of Hope's oh keynote address. Warriors of Hope. Jeez, what are you so mad about? And oh, they're wait, kids. I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Nagisa. Jesus Christ, I'm so in love with the presentation of this game so far. Every bit, every single design, every single choice. Citizens of Toa City, nice to meet it's you. so good, look at the kids that are in the background. the Warriors of Hope. We are the masters of Mr. Monokuma. This town, this dirty, lame, Worthless, pathetic, Lame. good for nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, 
all of you adults will no longer be needed. Oh, good. Goodbye. That's good. I can go home. Reminds, reminds you of the delightful children from down the lane or something. It's always really, like, terrifying whenever kids are, like, taking over stuff like that. Because they're not, you know, they're not supposed to be there at all. Are we getting intro video as well? Oh. <laughs> Are we gonna get, we're gonna get like a big introduction here as well. I love these intro videos too. Sometimes they get blocks we'll have to see. This music is so like, like it's a dopamine rush. No. Toko, so yeah, I know Toko's in this game for sure. Horokuma? Shirokuma? Yo, go home. Masaru da Diamond? Kotoko Itsugi? Jitaro Kenamuri? Monaka? And Nagisa Shingetsu? Who is this? This is the coolest little character as well, the guy in the mask. Wait, is it just us and Toko? Is it just us and Toko? I'm really worried. Really great intro. Prologue, the Warriors of Hope. So these are gonna be like kinda like the villains for the game, which actually I'm kind of excited for, like, cause you get to this is the first time I think we've seen ago, a certain incident completely changed the world so this is a year and a half ago now but yeah like it's really cool that like they're showing the villains right away this is something they didn't do in the first two games apparently the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school but the school covered it up so it was too late when the world finally realized it's all connected everything's connected look there's the school it grew out of control Becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder... The violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. That's the war we're going to be hearing a lot. Well, I guess it is the whole common like thing but about this game. With all this it is! Chaos, I had complete faith in my That world. is Makoto's sister, for sure. For sure. And even when it felt like How I could you forget falling, this image? Like these the, the parents. Believing. It's still okay. It's alright. Yeah, she still has hope. Then I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated so that me wasn't, from my that family. wasn't false. That was true. What happened here in the first game wasn't just some illusion. It was true. That proves it. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl. But instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize. Isn't that kind of insane as well? Because, like, 
through the themes of hope, like she had hoped that eventually she would leave this place. She didn't get her hopes up, but she had hope that she would eventually leave this place. And the hope that she had that she was going to leave this place then turned into more despair <laughs> as soon as she left it. Why is this happening? If I knew this was going to happen, I would have stayed in my room forever. Same. We can do it. We, we have a gun. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. You can't see me. I'm hiding. I'm hiding in this place. <laughs> I gotta run. That's right. That Biaki guy said that. Biaki. His name's Biaki. Here, right? <laughs> it's so weird that we're playing as. Makoto sisters. Can we ch can we turn on subtitles somehow? <laughs> this was the guy who was supposed to be stationed it's over here. Cute. It's the same as that Biakia guys. Bakaru, yeah. <sighs> Minf. My name's not Minf, dude. Uh, are you alright? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run! Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How? How did you know? I... I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? Go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a Future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go! But... what about you? Let's shoot this guy. Oh, guys. I can kill these guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I... I'm sorry. I mean, realistic. You know, I think a lot of people who like, like, like me just there going, just shoot him. A lot of people just run. I'm so sorry. They would. <laughs> like, we're just thinking realistically. Not that this game is gonna be realistic, but like, that's just the truth. Like, most people would just get out of there. I'm, I'm gonna check if there's subtitles just because, um, is there subtitles? No way is there not subtitles, is there? Let's see this, okay. Kumaru Neyi, a normal girl, little sister to the ultimate hope Makoto ne Neyi, doesn't have any special talents, has been imprisoned in Toa City apartment for a year and a half. Uh, dislikes lightning and rainy season, likes girls, manga, and whatever's trending. Weight, 180 pounds, vitals, 33, May 31st, blood type A, 5 foot 4. Bakadu Chakamao, uh, height 6 foot 1, weight 150 pounds, vitals, 32, May 5th, blood type B, likes coffee and French. Dislikes plebeians, dislikes Mike, I don't like microwave meals either, so... Uh, former, but like, here's the thing, when I was down, when you're down in your luck, a microwave meal is one of the nicest things in the world. Former student of Host Peak Academy and successor to, to Tagami Group survived this school, school killing incident along with Makoto and Toko Fukawa. Cool. Oh my god, we just have to walk past this. This is a great visual as well though, like the fight, like I think it actually mixes well the 2D and the 3D. We're gonna be seeing a lot more Makoto. I wanna walk through slowly because look at this. This is really cool. Look at the playground. Hey. Are you people from Future Foundation? Hmm? Um, this guy called Byaka Yatagami said that you guys could rescue me! <laughs> they actually hate him. <laughs> He's the evil What guy. is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. They would, they would know Makoto. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? Dead. He, he told me to run, so I... I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. 
But then again, this is Byaku Yatagami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please, you have to go save him! Understood. I'll go back for him. I think you need more than one person. I hope you can make it in time. You need more than one person for sure. What exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything! I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Yes. Incident? Yes. It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I remember this. This is when um, Tagami um, joined the game, remember? That was the biggest, most tragic event in my history. <laughs> it was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. Again, just beautiful art it all the time. Just one. Horrible, though. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. But in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Who is this silhouette now? We should probably know this, right? Oh, and as for this town... Are you alright? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. It's actually kind of pretty, though. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. Because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city, and that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. Yes, I got it that kind of as well. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And um, I mean, I want to see. Yeah, my but wonder where it, are her parents? We know where what Makoto's so doing. Oh. About your family. They did. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? We gotta go. We gotta go. Is that singing? Get on the chopper. Get on the Over helicopter there. right now. Get on the helicopter. What the <laughs> hell? Get on the helicopter right now. Get on it right now. <laughs> That's so sick, but at the same time... Oh, they got him! Get back! They got Dennis! Get on the helicopter! Get on the helicopter, please! That is disgusting! Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Close that over. Close over. 
Roar. Roar like a bear. Fly! Fly! Fly right now! Fly right now! Fly right now! Who's flying the plane? No! <laughs> no! That's how you do it! That's not how you do it! Okay, maybe it is. Okay, I, I kind of trust him now a bit more. This is like execution screen. What the hell's happening? There's multiple like scenes where it seems like an execution. That's a really cool the way they're doing it. Because it's definitely setting up my expectations because this feels like death is about to happen. Yeah, right? Like, they're doing this on purpose. They have to be. Wow, 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 we are as well. Wow, wow, we are. It's great. Again, fantastic art as always. No, are we not playing as this girl? No. I just, I just think she's great. But then again, she wasn't in the opening cutscene uh, as an actual character, so... I'm guessing this isn't totally the end, but it's still a very horrifying thing to think about. Question mark, exactly. Hey. Can you hear me? Who's this? Are you okay? Who's this? Who's this? You look completely exhausted. Jesus Christ, no! <laughs> Me? Oh, no. my name's not really important. Yeah, sure. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. What do you mean? <laughs> Let's not do this. Let's not do this at all. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. Then... The riots. <sighs> this game is insane. And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. Great outfit. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. You went from looking like someone who was going to shoot people to like actually having a very like interesting costume. Uh, um, ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Sure. Either you truly are completely exhausted or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. Both. You were asleep a full two days. Oh. Uh, a full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Ah, but you're more concerned about yourself in the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. What's going to happen to me? I'm not sure I ever feel safe in a room in Nagito. <sighs> huh? Uh, apologies. Your reaction was so... Normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. So you don't find me interesting, Freddy Krueger shirt? So, that's why you pass. What, what are you talking about? 
Well, the hand. I remember the hand. Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. What's in the present? Sound. The, the hacking gun. I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. Sound means nice, by the way. Or like, thank it you. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. So we're gonna be entering into like a sort of like, oh, well, I guess it is a killing uh, game. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. I can't believe we're right in front of Nagito. We've already met like a bunch of characters for this game already. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. No. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. Wait, is there gonna be other people However, in this game too? Even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. Sure. I'll do that, if sir. You don't wanna die, that is. What? This is insane! I'll I wanna go home. Okay. What the heck? What is going on now? Um, what is going on now? Oh, so we did. We we just obtained more troop bullets now. Okay. Makes you obtain move. Move is a troop bullet that can activate some machines and superpowered hacking magic. Try it on a power panel in the red light. Oh, I know you probably remember, but you press square button to change ammo. But how does one save? That's why I'm trying to look for here. I don't know. Like again, it's it's very Resident Evil style. Um. So I'm wondering if there's gonna be like save locations or something we'll see though time for another story now that you put some time with the hacking let me tell you something the red left eye is a weak point for all the monokumas shoot that weak point with break and most monokumas go down in one shot plus after you hit a weak spot break ammo will give you one more power shot it's one hell of a shot that's one that's way stronger than the regular break now let's kill two birds with one stone if you guys are out why not trying for the weak point i'll try my best there we go there it is again oh god <laughs> Nice shot, I say. Gun, you know, nice shot. It's weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking so about? So like he's nerfed our gun, which is actually very funny. Okay, there's a Monokuma this way. Freeze! Freeze! Monokuma. Okay, we have to do that there because he was gonna turn around and get us anyway. This is awesome, man. I'm actually like in love. Like I love this type of gameplay. Like my favorite type of game is survival horror. So like this is like this is this is basically that. This is a survival horror game. What are you? What, you know, we look at that. Nah. Did I just get locked in? Oh, hello. Maybe I should try to move something. Oh, you have to again. pick these up. Oh, I just walked through them and I thought we had to pick it up. That's okay. We missed that one a coin already. Go up to the room past the stairs. Here? Okay, let's go here. Who's, that? Who's in here? There's gonna be someone in here, right? Okay, is this the test? Did we do the test? Cutscenes make me nervous. So the... I can't get over how cool this concept of the, and the designs of these kids are. You... You are those kids! The kids who were on TV. Oh man, I'm famous. <laughs> I'd autograph your back anytime. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can only write using a chisel, 
But if this guy is demented. That, I can sign your this guy worries too. me the most. We accept presents as well. I'm always in the mood for sweets. However, salty flavors are no good. Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. I think we need to arrest him right now. Like, they're so cool. Reminds you like Rule of Rose or Welcome, something. Big sis. I'm so happy you came, meow. Meow. Um. Uh. Oh, that's right. Big sis doesn't know us yet. Uh, why would we? Um. Well, I guess we should start with introductions. All right, let's start with me, the leader. I'm the leader of the Warriors of Hope, Hero Class Masaru Daimon. I always give 100%. My favorite class was Jim, so they called me Lil Ultimate PE. So they're giving like ultimate names as well. Aha! Uh -huh. A hero, the leader, and the Lil Ultimate PE. I even impressed myself. The Rugrat. <laughs> You're far too The guy at the end is leader. terrifying me with the Truly sleeves. Calm and dignified. But I am the leader. We all agreed on it. All he did was win rock, paper, scissors. Doesn't matter. I'm still the leader. I won, so I'm the leader. The leader! Fine, fine. You're the leader. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am the sage, Nagisa Shingetsu. I am the vice leader of sorts. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Little old? No, you were not Little Ultimate Social Studies. <laughs> no, you weren't. Huh? Hope's Peak. Wait, so they had kids that young at Hope's you Peak? You mean that Hope's Peak? Hmm. Why should that surprise you? I, I, I didn't know there was an elementary yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Affiliated with the academy. <laughs> Such an ignorant woman. If your suit wasn't so nice, I'd actually boot you right now. Anyway, who's next? Perhaps Jotaro? Uh, wait. Before I go, can I practice introducing myself? Okay, I actually love him. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm the priest, Jotaro priest. Kamori. And you specialize in arts and crafts, making you little ultimate art, correct? Moving on. Oh, he's the coolest now. You said what I was gonna say. The whole thing. This, he reminds me of like a clock tower villain or something. He's so oh, good. Oh, my chest itches. I wish I could scratch it raw. Reach inside and scrape my nails on it. Um, everyone needs a hobby? Your speeches are always too long. It's like how an elephant's nose is so long. But then again, giraffe necks are long too. And also waiting for a plane takes too long, and spring break is too long. Sometimes breaks are too long, you're right. Uh, um... Well, anyway, don't worry about Jatero. He's a latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. Latchkey kids, are they like the... They're like disadvantaged kids? Because like that, I think that's what... Let me just look up the actual definition. Oh, it's a kid with no home it's or no parents, I suppose. It's not like kids, though. Some kids say they have magical powers. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe. Oh, sorry for the late introduction. My name's Katoko Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. I was called Little Ultimate Drama, but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part Little out. Little Ultimate Junko over here. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. Yeah, you tell them. You tell them. <laughs> Aren't you surprised? They're both chestnuts. Uh, uh, and hey, did you know? 
kangaroos can jump backwards. I actually didn't. And, and, and believe it or not, snakes have ears. I didn't know that either. Yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction is Monica. Okies. Okies. Okay, she's a, she's, she's a psychopath. Monica is a mage. Monica is terrifying. And when I attended elementary school, I was called the little ultimate homeroom. Is homeroom not just study class? I'm like, sure what's homeroom? I'm familiar with it, right? Homeroom? No. No, because, like, over here we don't have homeroom. We have, like, well being and, like, digital well being. Monica just loves homeroom. The first hour of the day when we can share our thoughts. And that is why, even in the Warriors of Hope, I'm the life of the party! Uh, but you are familiar with the Warriors of Hope. N no The Warriors of Hope are heroes who save the world from demons. Isn't that amazing? We're a party of heroes that hunt down demons. But nobody really wants me in the group. Why? You're awesome! You're like the nicest kid of the bunch! And I'm the party leader, which makes me the number one king of this town! You remind me of a character from Amori. You should play Amori, Masaru. Uh... Um... You... You kids are just joking, right? With demons and kings? I... Joking... around? They don't I seem like they're joking to me. I mean, you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this kind of stuff. Just kids? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm? Huh? Aw. That's the only thing I can say. Just aw. Since you're an about to be, we were thinking, well, doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. Adults, children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. With our Monokumas, You'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Splattered like the sound of bloody chopped meat. <laughs> Intestines falling out of you like sausages. <laughs> I go from like thinking this guy's the coolest to being the worst in like. Oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Coming from you. Leave Jotaro alone. Our Monokumas? So the ones controlling those Monokumas out there are... Them. That's right! Isn't it so cool? The Monokumas obey any order we give them. All thanks to Monica's magic. Yeah, that's our mage. She can use magic even without magic circles. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Just kick, kick her in the back of the head or something. Like, just... <laughs> just yeah! Monica's smile is so adorbs! Oh, I just want to smother you in syrup and eat you up! Well, you guys can do that. I'll go that door. You guys do that. N no! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Which part? The design on this guy is so good. If what you're saying is true, please stop all of this! We will not. We will never stop until we've completed our paradise. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? A paradise made of children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids. Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise. Woohoo! Why must fireflies die so young? Children's asking the real questions. And since our paradise is for children only, there won't be any more pedophiles either. There's, there's sound logic, I suppose. Can we keep the ice cream store? The ice cream didn't do anything Okay, Jodo's the best. Okay, he understands life. What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. What happens if you guys grow up, though? Uh-oh. 
th this is bad. Monica's mad. It's going to be all right, Monica. Please, don't get upset. They're it's all, all like afraid of Monica being mad. That's right. If Monica says it, then white is black. Cats are dogs and um... What else? Uh, dogs are chickens. Oh, please. Oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? Hey, how dare you make Monica mad? Me? That's the last straw. As the leader, I'm gonna hunt you down. What if I kicked you right in the knee? Hunt? <laughs> Let us play a game. You will be our demon prey. It's a really fun game. <laughs> okay, I trust Jojo. A godly game. <laughs> it was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Deeming hunting. Ta-da! Demon hunting! It's like the Monster Hunter logo. Demon hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the great silhouettes as well of all the characters. To see who takes down the demon first. Came up with it. How powerful is Monica if these girls and these guys are sucking See up to her Monica? like this? We're going to play our special game. No need to be upset now, right? Hmm. Yes, yes, so exciting. Let's do it. <laughs> what are we got? No, no, okay, okay. Cal we all gotta calm down. Everyone has to calm down. No. By target, you mean you. Hurry up and prepare the device. What is this? This wristband is a custom-made device given to they the have targets Nag of the game. Nagito was a slave. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Boom? Okay, then. Now we're ready. All right, let's go hunting. W wait, wait, hold on. This is a break, isn't it? You're just kidding around. You've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. For an adult, you sure are dense. No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. If you throw me into that town, I, I just get killed immediately. And that's no fun, right? Ooh, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I had this gun. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. There was no evasion. I was shooting them in the eyes. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Advice from earlier? However... Even after you meet everyone. Yes, sure Nagito. If you don't want to die, that is. Just a good guy. Just an overall good guy. Uh. Hey, no talking without the leader's permission. You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut. <laughs> that is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it. Why? What? Why are you doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is very Rule of Rose-esque. Oh, jeez. You're too funny. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt. We play the games because they're fun. Duh. That's the only reason. You're only surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. I s this is I just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. Jotro, get these guys. Like, come on, you're way better than this. Searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults. 
Children are untainted by such futility. True. Very true. Fact. But to tell you the truth, I would rather not play this game. Why? There is still much work to be done to build our paradise, yet here we are playing games. Why? Why don't you stop? We cannot do that. This is Monica's game. She says so Monica is the leader. Done, so it will be done. Monica is the princess. Everyone on our team tries to grant the princess's wish. <sighs> Jotaro, I'll trust you for now. You know, you've always led me the right way. And I love what Monica loves. So that's basically the situation. Thank you, Nagisa. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. I'll have to bake you some delicious cookies later as thanks. Y yeah, thank you. Oh, that's so not fair. I want to eat Monica's cookies too. Hey, Monica, what about me, the leader? Wait, how can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're, oh, don't say that. You're not don't say that. Okay, like they're okay with it. They're like, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, of course you see this as not abnormal. But who cares what adults say? Fact. You know, they're starting to make sense. Also, really. Naegi, in your current situation, you don't have the right to say a thing. You cannot choose your path. Because this place you're in, it isn't a path at all. What? You are not on a path. You were falling into an abyss, a darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Can't you feel the pull of gravity? So that's what that is. What do you mean? She means this. Another kind of execution esque cutscene. Oh, literally. Oh, it's so cool. The visual design in this game is so cool. Oh, it's like into a dungeon type thing. Yeah. Yeah, you hold that there, I suppose. The building was in the sky. A child's ears are... Wonderful ears! What? A child's eyes are... What? Adorable eyes! What? A child's mouth is... A great big mouth! <laughs> Why is it so big? No, stop. To gobble up the demons! Jesus Christ, they're great. <laughs> okay, they win. I agree with them. You know what? Game on. You know what? Let's say this particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> then it looks like I'll win when I catch it. Wait, where's the demon? A game is different than reality. So that means oh, that Jotaro. I can actually win. Our boy. Our boy Jotaro. My, my. It's rare to see Jotaro so pumped. But it also makes him extra gross. You're actually the gross one, I'll be honest, Kotoko. That don't matter. At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me, the leader. Now, now, it doesn't matter who wins. Just make sure you don't fight while playing the game. Well, anyway, do you guys wanna get a cola or something? Ooh, a soda sounds great. Someone go buy some. Leader's orders. <laughs> Nagito just in the background. <laughs> and just like that, the pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the despair. If you hurt, if anything happens to Jotaro, I'm blaming you, Monica. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right. Do your best, Miss Protagonist. She is the protagonist. With your lack of distinct characters. What is? I I just can't believe so Nagito was here as a slave so for these kids as well. I know he keeps saying so it. I'm just. Prologue, Warriors of Hope. Complete? And, whoa, we complete the full prologue. 
to be continued. There we go, our first save. What, it's the first time we got to save? This is insane. This is like so cool. First of all, the gameplay is really good. It's actually really good. The visual design is amazing. The music is amazing. The bad guys so far have been amazing. I'm in love with Jojo. Um, I can't wait to play more of this. This is absolutely insane, but in the best way possible.